Right guys, we're here back to Dornsburg shooting ground and we're here with the main man himself, Stephen. So <laughs> Stephen, how are we doing? Stephen, you're the uh, head target setter here at Dornsburg. You set all of these wonderful competitions. So I just thought it'd be good to spend a few minutes with you just to get your insight as a target setter at, at, this, at this very, very, very special place. So how long have you been setting the targets here? Oh, the last four years, I started work here on Dornsburg. And it's a great deal. look at this. This is what he has to work with, guys. Look at this. I mean, Stephen, I noticed that there's a lot of trees missing from the last trip. Is, there, is, that, is that something you've done on purpose or...? The, the trees are very high and too dangerous for the shooters. Yeah. You see it. I mean, cut them, yeah. it makes a big difference, doesn't it, to what yeah. you can throw now. Yeah. What's, um, Stephen, let's talk about this layout here. Because as a target setter, it's people, people assume that it's very easy to set targets here. But it, it's not as simple as people think, is it? No, it's not easy. I mean, the roadway, this this D target down here, guys. Stephen, how far away do you think that machine is? 65 meters. 65 meters from here. From here, yeah. And that's and that's really the next piece of flat land where you can put a machine. No, the highest one is the, maybe the, the Laporte. You can see it. Yeah, it's 120 meters <laughs> far away. <laughs> yeah. But um. So you have to do you have to put a lot of planning in don't you You have to go into the trees like you have here to try and get the targets to do some form of crossing yes what um so when you come here for let's say let's say you're pl you're planning this station for the prati cup okay how, how what do you what do you look for how do you try and beat somebody like christoph of ray and then also please the c-class shooter what what how do you set targets Parazzi Cup is the biggest competition here on Donsberg. Yeah. We have 240 shooters and we want to create a good setting yeah, with the targets. And the problem is we have a lot of trees and uh, mountains and in a way. And the problem is to create a new stand for the, for the Parazzi Cup yeah. every year. Yeah. To give them a special Something for, new. For, the, for, the, for the visitors. Yeah. So ah, it's not easy, yeah. But it, it, we give all the best, yeah. So what, how many tar how many traps do we have here? Just give them a rough. So this is this is B one, correct? B one. So what is the A target do on B one? A target is is a, is a crosser from the left side and goes down into the valley, yeah. So it's it's not just about it's not just about getting in front of that target. The line's also very difficult. I mean, because how deep is the valley? How deep is the valley here? Do you think? Uh, Twenty five meters. Yeah, maybe more. Maybe more, yeah. Maybe thirty. Yeah. So you can see. This is the bottom here, guys, and you can see it goes all the way up to these traps up here. So the A target comes from in here and drops down in. What, what's the B target, Stephen? B target is a looper from the left side, yeah. Goes on the right side, top on, on the three machines on the right side. Okay. Yeah. And C? C, oh. It's the high one, isn't it? We shot C, it earlier. C is the high one, bromatic trap, yeah. It's a super sporter left arm. Yeah, you can see. So it's so very fast. It's very fast and go far away. But from it shows you. it shows you the top yeah, as yeah. it goes down off the left-handed machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D target is way way down there. It's a looper coming towards you though, and yes. sort of fades off to the right. Yes. E target. It's not easy. No, it's a nasty bird. <laughs> no. E target is a bad two. That's yeah. those three machines up there. Yeah, yeah. So what machines do you have up there? I have a Looper, a Ranger, Chandel, Bromatic, uh, Batu, Bromatic, and a Super Sporter. Is the, um, the right Ranger Chandel is a midi, I think, it's, isn't it? It's in the middle. No, no, no. It's, it's a classic. Uh, oh, standard? Standard, yeah. Okay. So, the, the, they sort of... And they're three very different targets, aren't yeah. they? One sort of drops in the middle, yeah. one's going downhill all the time, and one is a, really, is a really strange line. And then we also have I and J here. I and J... I is a very slow one. It's falling into the hole there. Into the hole there, yeah. It's not easy for the shooters, yeah. Because I think you, you're very good at that, aren't you? That's one thing. Like I said to you, when I when I won the Prati Cup last year, I did make a speech on how good you're becoming as a target setter. Yeah. You, you've you've learned to change speeds up on people, fast yes, to yes, slow. Yes, 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 yes. Fast and slow, and we, the the problem is we need. Um, um, I say it's flat here, Ben. Say again. For, from the pigeons? Yeah. The, the top. The top. Yeah. So I will see you at the top of the pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. There's a big problem 
so we cannot uh, use every stand here to for shooting for a big shooting for the competition Parazzi Cup yeah it's, it's very because because it's it's very different now to when the trees are green yeah it makes a big difference the to color, how you have to color, think. The color of the, the forest here is a big problem. Yeah, yeah so you, you have to see the, the pigeons. Yeah, so it makes a big yeah. difference on, on what color clays you use. But I mean, I shot here back in the days when it was different because there's, we've also shot this beeline from downstairs. Well, two years ago. Yep. Yeah. So, you, so we've actually, yeah. Yeah. there's a roadway down here, guys. I'll take you down in a moment. Then you start looking up the mountain, not just shooting down. And you, you don't really need to move the machine, Stephen, do you? Because it just. Yeah, we change everything for the Parazzi Cup this yeah. year. Everything. Yeah. We're going to make a difference. Uh, which, which, if this is this is my favorite line at Dornsberg is B line. Which is your yeah. favorite line that we can go to next? A line. A line. Yeah. Let's go it's, down to A line. A line is my favorite. Yeah. Let's go down there now, Stephen. We've just come to the end of B line. Before we go down, and just talk us through what I can see from here. What, what is this below me? This is the new stand. So we've got. This is for compact. For compact. Yeah. Okay, but this. This is the A line. This is the A line. This is the stand now, uh, stand A4. Yeah, we installed a new system, Range Master from Austria, for the competition uh, for the German Open compact competition. Yeah, and so, for compact sporting and for when it's rain here on the ground. It's also though. So we're the other side of the valley now. Yeah. B line is over here, guys, and we swing round here, and that's A line down there. It's got it's. it's it's so far from the car park, it has its own private car park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this is a Promatic downhill thrower, which is going to go down and just drop into the valley way in front of you. So this is what A4 looks like from the top. We're going to drive now and show you down the bottom. Right, guys, as we're, uh, as we're walking down to A5, A5 is probably Dornsberg's most famous shooting position. And... Over the years since Stephen's been coming here, he has um, changed this position. He used to have an old rabbit down in the bottom of the valley and the hedge was all overgrown in front of you. I'll try and add a clip in here from my previous video. But what you're about to see is the amount of work Stephen's put in, cutting all the trees back, removing that rabbit trap and also adding a secondary road that will allow him to throw some more unique targets. But this is one of the most beautiful shooting positions I've ever shot in the world. So Stephen, we're here at A5. Let's just give the viewers a, a quick talk through of the targets before we get. So all this is new down here. Yes, everything. You, the, this just used to have that really old rabbit trap. You see the street that was the rabbit trap. Yeah, this is, the top one there was the rabbit. But what happened down here? Because this, this, this road here is new. Yeah, this is the old valley, yeah. We cut the, all the trees, so I can make a, a position for new traps. Yeah, it makes the compact much more interesting because interesting, the targets yeah, can stay yeah, within the yeah, range. Yeah, so yeah. I know we, I know we, I'm going to let you talk us through this. So a target, what, what's a target do a from target here? Is, it's a bromatic right arm, yeah, from the left side, yeah. It goes down into the valley. Yeah, very. It's not, uh, not easy. To no, it's, a, it's, a, it's, yeah. it's an easy target to hit and a very easy target to miss. You have a you have a long way to can shoot them, but you have a long time. to miss Many them. many choices to make. <laughs> yeah. B target is below your feet, and, and I believe just down here. Down. Yeah, so there are two chromatic traps. Yeah, on the left side, down there. And again, it's very difficult to read because they look like they're dropping, but they're actually still they still still climbing up climbing that up, up that there, but... horrible hill. D looks like a super chandel. Super chandel, yeah. It's all not easy, yeah. And then we're working our way across to you. I know we're going to talk about your favorite traps here. So yeah, if, EFG. if we look up the top through this hole, you can just start to see the traps in the hillside up there. Now, most grounds would use a tower. Dornsburg doesn't need towers. Yeah, yeah. Dornsburg, we're maybe, in the... <laughs> maybe to the Parazzi Cup, maybe. <laughs> so we're in the bottom of the valley, and up there you've got three very, very different type of targets. Talk us through what the E, F, and G do. E, F, e machine is a big chromatic trap. Yeah. yeah. It's very far away from here. And it goes it's across the sky. It goes across the sky, yeah. So the, but these next two are the most horrible targets in the world. Yeah. F and G are new Laporte traps. Yeah. They are very high from this position here. Yeah. yeah. And they go up. Very high cross up. Over <laughs> and down. And you literally have no idea 
what these targets are doing, whether they're dropping, rising. I think from this position, uh, the, the drops are 85 meters high. It looks like a crosser, but it's when you go up, there's it's a looper. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's, a, it's the line that gets yeah. people. The lead's yeah. not too too difficult. So you got and you can you've got all three of them up there. So you know when you when you have a big tournament here. If you're on a training day and you don't get to this position first... That's my first position, yeah. <laughs> There's a big line of people waiting. Yeah. And then you've got some lovely batus below your feet and everything else that's that's rolling down this valley here. So before these viewers see this, Stephen, have you got any plans for the Pratsy Cup? Like when we came last year, you had, you'd built a platform in this tree to throw a different target or have you got some things you can't tell us? Have you got things up your sleeve? Yes, I think we... we... We built some towers, yeah. <laughs> I and it, think, yeah, this is a good position up to the valley. And if people want to come here for training, what days are you open? When we open? What, what so you, oh, you're we, closed Monday, Tuesdays? No, no, no. Tuesday is to Saturday. Okay, you're open Tuesday, Saturday. Yeah. And you close for what months of the year? You close in December? We close uh, at Christmas, yeah. Christmas till, till Christmas. May. Till, till, sorry, March. Till March. And then, just, yeah. is that for snow? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we open in, in January. If, if the weather is okay. When the weather is okay, we have not a lot of snow. So we can open on Saturday. Perfect. And, uh, Stephen, thank you very much for your time. Maybe we can do this again at the Pratty Cup and you can walk us through the layout. Perfect. Thank, thank you, you, sir. No. Thank you. Guys, that's uh, a quick glimpse around the mighty Dornsberg. As I've said to people, it's the mecca of Fitas shooting. I'll try and get into this position a little earlier for the Pratty Cup and we'll see if we can get the main man, Stephen the course designer to walk us through the competition after we've shot it and try and tell us the tricks of the trade. As I've said before, I believe Stephen is a world-class target setter now. He could actually set targets at any ground in the country or in the world. So if you are thinking of holding a big event and you want to employ a different target setter, please, I'll add Stephen's Instagram to this, drop him a message and see if he can work with you. Have fun.